What's up? It's Dwight from Hillside. Today I am going to be building a beat from scratch. Um, so yeah, I don't really have an intro. Let's just get into it. Um, my process changes a lot. So sometimes I feel like I have an idea. I'll hum it into my memos. I sometimes just go and I find a sound that I like. It more so is just finding a way to capture the sound that you hear and enjoy and you're like, you know, maybe later on I'll enjoy that too. So that's kind of my process. It, it really, I don't really have a formula for it. I just kind of do it. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. So I was playing around with this airy synth. Um, and then I, I stumbled across scrolling through like this type of organ. I'm gonna add these hi-hats. I like live drums because they have like a, uh, it's like a feel to them. And, um, and I sometimes will put a little bit of reverb on them. It actually sounds like it's really in a room. I kind of cut the decay on them so that it doesn't, it's just tight and simple. I need to find like a bass line. I feel like I can hear a bass line in my head. So I'm gonna play around for a minute. So sometimes I'll play around and I'll actually play a real bass, um, but my real bass is actually in the garage and I'm being lazy today. I feel like I could hear like a guitar in there, but I don't have a guitar. Sometimes how I compensate for not like being a guitar player is I, I have a guitar, but I can't play it super well. I sometimes will do something goofy kind of like with a harp or like with a little guitar on here, kind of the way I did with the bass. This time I was hearing like a strumming guitar, I could hear it like dun, 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 but I couldn't do that. So I kind of made this sound like, so like see, with the drums, it just feels right. Adds a little bit of a bounce and a groove to it. It kind of has that feel of like, it's like the Neptunes, like it just has that you know, that little edge to it. Sometimes when I'm making like my drums, I've learned to like mute all of my melodies. Not everybody recommends this, but I've started to do it because it works for me. Um, I'll mute all of my melodies and that will enable me to like actually get a drum loop that is like, has that feel to it. Um, and sometimes, you know, I experiment with it because it's like, I'll put the melody in and I'll, I'll hate it because it's a lot, but that's just how I've had fun building drums lately is muting everything else but the drums. Um, and that kind of just once I incorporate the melody, it just brings that um, back into it. So I'll like mute the melody while I'm doing it. Okay, so back to the original sound. Um, the little weird little, what did I put? I'm gonna put that throughout the verse. Um, sometimes like I get off in my brain and I'm like experimenting with different sounds and I'll pick like one little sound that I'm like, yeah, I love that one. And then I'll find another one that complements it and somehow between the chorus and verse, or the intro and verse, it'll just, they'll separate and become two separate songs. So I'm gonna find a way to incorporate it in the verse. Another thing that I really love is the pad with like the slow attack. So like when it kind of comes in like swelling, like so I'm gonna add some of that here in this 
in the verse. Yeah, so that is it. Um, yeah. Hip on the hip.